Okay, we've decided that we might have damaged our servo in our rough landing we had with our aircraft. So we're gonna, what we're going to do is pull this thing apart. We're going to take a look inside, show you what the gear train looks like, and, and kind of go through some of the steps you might go through to replace a broken or stripped gear in, the, in a servo like this. We're ready to pull the top off the servo now. One of the things we want to do as we pull this top off is be very careful that we leave the gear train intact in its location on the top of the servo. A couple things you want to be careful of here. Number one, you want to pay very close attention to how these gears stack. Uh, there's multiple gears, there's multiple teeth, teeth segments on each gear, and they all interlock to get the correct amount of torque to the, from the motor to the output shaft. So you want to take a real good look at what this is, how this gear train stack is. Another thing you may want to do, good helpful hint, is get a little piece of paper and maybe just sketch a little diagram on where these gears go so you make sure you get them back at the right place. Because if not, it can be awful frustrating if you get them mixed up. Uh, another thing we want to pay real close attention to are these two little pins you see here. Uh, these pins typically are not uh, attached permanently to either the bottom center case or the upper case. In fact, if you look in there, you'll see a couple molded holes. Uh, that's what these two pins go into. So as we're pulling the gears off to inspect them, you want to make sure that you keep an eye on those pins. You don't lose them, and you make sure you get them right back in the hole that they belong. Okay, we're going to start to inspect our gears for damage. I would take them off one at a time. We have a bushing on top here that locates the output shaft to the top of the case. Then the gears, as they stack, come off one by one. Each gear, as you remove it, go ahead and inspect it for any broken teeth. If you have broken teeth, odds are these teeth are going to be stuck in the lubricant that you see on these gears. There's a, there's a white silicone type lubricant there. There's quite a bit on the main gear that goes from the motor that starts it through the train. Odds are when these teeth do break off of these, they're going to be in this lubricant somewhere. And you want to make sure that you precisely clean each gear, get that lubricant off there, and get out any debris or teeth that might be in there, because that's where they're going to lodge. So we're going to, we're going to remove all of our gears. When we get to the bottom one, you can remove it or not. It's up to you. It can be inspected here in the case. We want to take a good look at each gear. If we find a broken gear, what you want to do is I would recommend replacing the whole set. Uh, these gears are available through your local hobby shops. They usually come in entire sets, and uh, they're easy to, easy to get a hold of, and they're easy to replace. If you're uncomfortable doing this, by any means, uh, send it back to your supplier or manufacturer, and they can literally change these things out in minutes and get your servo back to you. But it's not a difficult job. Just be careful. Watch how they come apart. Inspect each gear. If you do find broken teeth, I'd recommend replacing the entire set. Carefully put the top back on your servo. Check it out good with your transmitter before you put it in the aircraft, and you ought to be ready to go.